so hello everyone so in this video we will be learning about how we can use api what is api and uh, uh, how we can uh, con uh, consume data as a front end user okay a uh, front end developer okay so uh, what uh, we will be doing is we will, in the process we will be building a covid application covid uh, we will consume the covid api and uh, we will make a fun application and uh, in the process uh, uh, we will learn uh, how to build uh, applications to display data uh, from an api okay that's the motive uh, so uh, so first of all uh, you can download uh, an application called postman if you are working with apis uh, this will be very handy so you can download this application and then uh, you will get a free version uh, so don't worry uh, you will get it you can download it from this website and once you download it okay you will have an application something like this okay so i have kept it open so now this is the covid api uh, website and uh, here is uh, you see documentation on postman so you uh, have this view documentation okay so you go over there and uh, we, if you see these are the links uh, which we can hit to get data okay so there are various links uh, in which we can uh, get various kinds of data okay so our first part will be a very simple application so we will be uh, using this url which is the summary one so go just copy this and uh, open a new tab and you see the data is here but it's very very difficult to read it so how will you do it so there is something called json formatter go over there copy this data and paste over there and write pro, uh, click on process this should uh, uh, give you a easier way of reading the data okay so the data is now prettified you can read it okay so in this first part of this uh, tutorial we will be just consuming this part where we have the new confirmed total confirmed the number of days total recovered and all this information uh, we can consume uh, from this api okay so let's uh, see let's uh, use this url so first of all in postman application click on create a collection give a collection a name for uh, now i am giving it test okay and inside a collection you can create a, a request so add request this is our first uh, test and we have it here so this is our test and we will paste the url here so you can uh, before i just proceed with this uh, what i will do is i will give a uh, walk through of this uh, application so you see you can just change uh, this uh, to post put delete all sorts of uh, uh, methods okay uh, so we in this case we will have get also you can pass parameters over here you can pass headers over here you can if headers will be in key value pair like for example i am just showing let's say content type will be application json for rest api okay and then you can in your body you can have click on raw and then you can choose either json xml whichever you feel like whichever is uh, based on your api of course and then you you can just have the body 
with your body which you send out okay if it's a post request you have to give a body in order to receive a reply so maybe something like i'm giving an example let's say or id equal something like one two three just for example it will be something like this and you click on send okay but uh, for this in this case we won't be using that we will be using a get request here is our api url link and we will click on send so you should see this which is our data so this is prettified there is the raw one so this is the prettified one you can also there are some more methods i believe okay so the, this will uh, be enough so you, this is just to read the data okay which you are receiving so we will be using this part uh, of the data so this is uh, this application comes handy when you are working with api uh, just uh, to see which works which doesn't work and uh, uh, very several other things okay uh, so this was a quick introduction to oh, now let's go to our so let me run the cd so let me open up visual studio code and uh, so this is the uh, page so what i will do is we will have a basic html so let's uh, what we will be having is a script okay and inside script we will uh, we will have a function named uh, get data and inside this we will have fetch so we will be using the fetch a, uh, function to get the data so give back ticks and put the url sorry about that put the url from here over here then res res dot json let me do it this way dot then data you can do console dot log data dot catch error if there is any error console dot log error so this is it and let's call the function so get data so let's give it a try control uh, click on f12 uh, that will open up this uh, chrome to uh, chrome tools in there you will see that uh, this worked actually and all the data is available okay all the data is available and also the gro global data which we need for this project so that is also present so this is it now how do we parse the data so what you can do is we will have it like this and here we will uh, so what are the things that will be shown so new confirmed okay we will have div within that we will have div and style will be 
width of let's say pixel height of let's say pixels and we will give some background color and we will give a blue color so this is the place where we will display our data okay very basic data and uh, this one will be let's say purple color so and the purple color here we will have span id equals let's say new confirmed so new confirmed this one is new dates so let's copy this again and new recovered now what we will do is we will have var or do it let us do it outside so variable we will have nc equals document dot get element by id we will have new confirmed dot uh, let's select that one similarly we will have new death and new recovered so new deaths and new recovered so uh, now what we will do is we will have nc dot inner html equals data dot so let us see data dot global global dot new confirmed so let us check for one if it works we will do for the rest so the data is coming ok so the data is coming now uh, we will uh, have some styling here so style equals let us say font size 100 pixel let us see how that looks it is too big so 50 pixels and color let us say white so maybe we are making too many requests uh, that is why it is coming zero so do not worry about that so this will be let us put h1 and we can put this is new confirmed cases similarly we can put new confirmed deaths and this one new confirmed recovered let us keep it that much only we can uh, 
have it like this style equals float left c Uh, let's give it an ID of here this and then div and we give a margin of let's say 20 pixels and border radius of 20 pixels so and padding of 20 pixels and we can change this to let's say 3 and also the height similarly we can do for the other ones so so this will be n r this will be n d and this will be n r and this will be and this one will be so now uh, yes of course the styling needs to be updated for this so let's copy this over here as well and here as well so So this is our application where uh, it's showing the latest data parsing through the JSON okay which we have received. So hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. So now you know how API works, how we use API and what is API. So in this case one more thing I need to mention is. Uh, presently you see the uh, the data is in JSON format okay so this is for rest API okay and if it was in XML format that would have been soap API okay so that was another point to mention so thanks for watching bye